Hey guys and gals, it's me George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man. And uh, I promised one of my subscribers who asked about balancing and sharpening saw, uh, saw blades, lawnmower blades, that I would do a demonstration. And uh, it starts very simply. This is a lawnmower blade balancer. And as you can see, if I bring this up here, this is just a cone with different steps on it for varying size holes. And uh, some blades have round holes and some blades have star shaped holes like this one here. Whoops. And uh, so it's not rocket science. It, they don't fit exactly on, the, uh, on those steps. But the basic idea is you get it to fit on the one that it's closest to fitting on and you center it by eye the best you can. And as you can see, that one's in pretty good shape. If it was way down like this on one side, then all I would do is in my sharpening process, I would take a little bit more off of this side. Now this blade is in pretty nice shape and really doesn't need a whole lot of sharpening. Um, it's unusual to see a blade that uh, isn't all cut up and banged up and everything else. But this obviously hasn't been running uh, through a place that had lots of rocks and other kinds of things but just cutting grass. And it doesn't appear that it was sharpened awfully long ago but I will sharpen it up, give it a nice new edge. Now one of the first things you need to do before you balance your blade, however, is you need to clean it. You can't just uh, balance it if you get all this grass on here. Like I said, it's not rocket science, but use a little common sense. You can see the crusting on here, and that could throw the blade off pretty quickly. And obviously, if it's uh, been on a mower for a long time, there's going to be some scaly rust on there. So you want to scrape it off and uh, I usually run them over the wire wire wheel. And this is a spare blade came off of one of my junk mowers and uh, you can see the blade is kind of curved it's not straight. That's from where they're normally straight there on the ends and you can see this one's got a lot of nicks and stuff and while the blade is sharpened from the factory all the way up into here it's not necessary to sharpen it there the only real cutting takes place down here on the last two to three inches at the end so that's where I focus uh, I'm not worried about too much about these chips I'll clean it up and take them off but I'm not going to try to make a fine edge here as long as I get a nice edge back in here and uh, so the next step is clean the crust off and then we'll try sharpening it. And to do that, I use my handy dandy wire wheel. see now that I've knocked off the major crusting on it and I'm not looking to get it down to bare metal that's not necessary just to get it clean so it doesn't have any extra gunk on there now this one needs to be sharpened so uh, take you back over here to the balancing thing and uh, I could just uh, I could just sharpen it on the grinding wheel. Now this is heavy on one end. You make sure I get it centered in the balance here. Yeah. It's a little bit heavier on this end, but not bad. And it actually looks like it's a little bit tipped to one side. And uh, we can correct that too. It would be nice to have it perfectly level, you know. But uh, I find that the best way to do this 
is not with the uh, bench grinder, but it's better to use a handheld grinder because you can control it better and uh, you get a, a, a better look when you're done. So I'll clamp this up in the vise and uh, we'll sharpen it for you. And then I take, that was where the regular grinding wheel, and then I use my grinder with a flapper disc just to take the burrs off the back side. Might help if it's plugged in, huh? And so there you have a nice sharp edge. This was the one that had the big bow in the middle and uh, I, you saw me grinding on the flat, but you don't want to do a lot of that if you don't have to. But it takes the edge off and uh, makes it like a knife. And you want to do your sharpening all on one side. The only th reason I did the back was just take the fuzzies off. And you duplicate that on both sides, and uh, so you can see the difference. This one's kind of blunt, and it needs to be sharpened yet. Compare that with this one. It's nice and sharp. Now I ain't going to stay nice and sharp for that, like that, for very long, because, as you know, the grass dulls it. But it'll work fine, and this will get you through a whole season uh, until it's needed to be sharpened again and you can see what happens I've only sharpened one side of this so that side is obviously lighter once I get this side sharpened properly it'll be back in balance and there you have it oh by the way that blade balancer yep I found it at the dump bye now